Okay, so in this video, pag-uusapan na natin si complex fraction. So, ano ba si complex fraction? Okay, so complex fraction are fractions which contain fractions in either the numerator or denominator or in both terms. So, meaning, kung yung numerator mo fraction, yung denominator mo fraction, complex fraction yun. So, if both terms of a fraction contains integral expression, then the fraction is said to be a simple fraction. So, example lang yan. For example, ito. Mga examples. Okay, so for example, C1 plus 1 half over 1 half. Okay, fraction yung numerator, fraction yung denominator. Another example, x plus 1 over x minus 1 over x plus 1. So, yung numerator is may fraction. Next is, and we have x over 1 plus 1 over x minus 1 over x squared. Okay, so complex fraction din yan. So, yun yung mga complex fraction. So, basta may fraction. So, sir, possible ba ba daw another example? For example, a 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 then all over 1 plus 2 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 3. Pero possible yan. Yes, complex fraction pa rin yan. So, dyan talaga medyo nakakapandugo pag sinusol. Okay, so, syempre, tuturuan ko kayo paano mag-solve ng complex fraction. So, may step din dito ako na nilagay para at least mas maintindahan nyo paano siya isolve. Okay, so, huwag kalimutan nyo yung mga idea natin na paano mag-simplify, paano mag-reduce, uh, paano mag-reduce, paano mag-change of sign, paano mag-add, paano mag-divide, paano mag-multiply. Okay, so, proceed tayo doon. So, tuloy ka na, hindi ko nalilipat pa, kasi ganun din naman yun. So, let's have example muna. So, isi-simplify ko muna siya in our term. So, ang gagawin ko, isi-simplify ko siya in which uh, parang walang step. Wala akong gagamit step, although nababasa mo yung step dyan. Ha? So, ang gagawin ko lang, so let's have x minus 1 over x over x plus 1 over x. So, ang gagawin ni sir, ganito. This is equivalent. Yung numerator, multiply ko na. So, that is x squared minus 1 over x. So, anong ginawa ko sa x minus 1 over x? Ang ginawa ko dyan, cross multiply. Multiply yun, minus 1 all over x, kaya yun yung naging sagot. Next, ano naman gagawin ko sa 1 plus 1 over x? So, similar ko, cross multiply, 1 times x is x plus 1 over x. Okay, so sa ilalim matitara naman is x plus 1 over x. Next, ito yung main natin na bin kulum. So, meaning, yan yung main division. So, ang gagawin ko, fraction divided by fraction, re-reciprocal ko tong part na to. So, this is equivalent sa x squared, x squared minus 1 over x, multiplied by reciprocal x over x plus 1. Nag-reciprocal to. Okay, then, napapansin mo yung x squared minus 1, may factor yan. Okay, so that is equivalent sa x minus 1 times x plus 1 over x multiplied by x over x plus 1. So, obviously, itong part na to, ito, cancel, 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 cancel. So, anong sagot? Ang sagot natin dyan, sir, is equivalent only sa x minus 1. So, without using any rules, ang ginawa ko lang is yung usual, numerator sinolve ko, denominator sinolve ko, then nagproceed ako ng division kasi nga fraction siya, Then, proceed ng multiplication sa certain cancellation or reduction. Then, nakuha ko yung sagot. Nama. Okay, ngayon. Pero, ano kong step para mas madali? Okay, so, thus, ito yung gagawin natin. Thus, to simplify a complex fraction, we have the following. Number one, find the LCM of the denominators in both numerators and denominators. Okay, so, yung numerator may fraction. Meaning, may denominator yun. Okay, yung denominator may fraction. May denominator din yun. So, ang sabi, kukunin mo yung LCM ng mga denominators nun. Okay, number 2. Multiply both terms, so meaning yung fraction sa taas, then yung fraction sa ilalim, yung multiply ko yung both terms dun sa LCM na nakuha ko. Okay, so, o yung LCD nakuha. Then, simplify. After nun, reduce the resulting fraction to its lowest term. Ganun kasimple. Okay, so, para mas maintindihan nyo, proceed tayo sa example. So, tal na ito. Let us simplify 1 plus 2 third. Okay, so, zoom ko lang konti. Okay, so, let's have, let us simplify 1 plus 2 third minus 3 over 5 over 1 minus 1 half. Doon ko pa konti ah. Medyo, yan. 
para mas malinaw. Okay, so yan yung simplify natin. So ang gagawin ng sabi, kunin mo daw yung denominators o yung LCM ng mga denominators. Ano ba yung mga denominators natin? Ang mga denominators dyan, is si 3, si 5, si 2. Napansin mo, no? Denominators sa numerator is 3, si 5, dito, 2. Okay? So, wala nang factor yung lahat. Ang LCM or LCD, automatic is yung product nilang tatlo. 2 times 3 is 6 times 5, 30. Okay, ngayon, ang sabi, multiply both terms of the complex fraction by the LCD. O yung sa LCD na kuha. So, ang gagawin ko, this is equivalent sa 30 multiplied by 1 plus 2 third minus 3 over 5. All over, ganun ulit si 30 times 1 minus 1 half. Ay yung sinasabi ng number 2. Next is, i-multiply ko yan. Simplify ko, multiply dyan, multiply dun, multiply dyan. Okay, so 30 times 1 is 30. Okay, next, 30 times 2 third. So, scratch ko na lang dito. 30 times 2 third. 30 times 2 third is simply 20. Tama, 30 divided by 3 is 10. 10 times 2 is 20. So, that is plus 20. 30 times 3 pip. 30 times 3 pip, that is 6 times 3 is 18. So, that's minus 18. Okay, all over, 30 times 1 is 30. 30 times 1 half is 15. So, therefore, this is equivalent sa 30 plus 20 is 50 minus 18. That is 32. So, 32. Then, 30 minus 15 is 15. Then, both are divisible by... 3 I guess. I know. It is not divisible by 3. It is not divisible by 2 also. Hindi sila both divisible sa isang number. Tama? So therefore, ito yung kanyang sagot. Okay. So ganun kasimple. Kung yung LCD, multiply mo dun sa numerator, dun sa denominator. Then, simplify. Okay. O, proceed tayo kay number 2. Okay. Number 2, ang obviously. Ang obvious, ano LCD? A minus 1 yung denominator sa taas. A minus 1 denominator sa ilalim. So ano LCD? Ang LCD lang is simply C, A, minus 1. So, yung mumultiply ito yung both side dyan. So, this is equivalent si A, minus 1, multiplied by A, minus 2, over A, minus 1. Okay, all over, A, minus 1, multiplied by 1, minus 1, over A, minus 1. Okay, so napakasimple, multiply mo yun. This is equivalent sa A, minus 1, times A, tama. Okay, then, a minus 1 times 2, a minus 1, cancel yun, so that is minus 2. All over, a minus 1 times 1, that is a minus 1. Then, minus 1. Dito sa part na yan. Okay, then, lastly, this is equivalent sa a squared minus a minus 2 over a minus 2. May factor si a squared minus a minus 2. Tama, so bantayan yan. So that is a minus 2. Then, A plus 1 over A minus 2. And lastly, syempre, cancel sa A minus 2. Therefore, ang sagot is A plus 1. Okay? So, ganun siya kasimple. Find LCD, multiply, simplify. Then, reduce. Okay, so let's have example number 3. So, ano ulit yung mga denominator? Ang denominator sa numerator is Y and denominator sa denominator is 2. Tama. So, sulit ko lang ha. Ang denominator natin is y tapos 2. So, ang LCD is yung product dun, which is 2y. Okay, meaning, imumultiply natin ulit to. So, this is equivalent sa 2y multiplied by 1 plus x over y. All over 2y multiplied by x plus y over 2. Okay, so kung maraming pinagkaiba niya na, una ito, didistribute. So, red ko para makita. Ito dito, then doon. Yung multiply. So, that is equivalent sa, so, lagay ka na maayos ha. That is 2y multiplied by 1. Tama? Plus, 2y multiplied by x over y. So, pakita ko na yung solution para makita nyo rin. So, ma-appreciate. Next, 2y times x plus y over 2, cancel lang yung 2. Okay, so that is only simply y times x 
plus y kasi mga cancel nga yung 2 ok then simplify further this is equivalent sa 2y plus cancel lang din yung y dito so this is 2x ok all over y times x plus y next may common factor sa taas which is 2 so that is 2 then that is y plus x all over y times x plus y so ang obvious naman na si x plus y ay equivalent kay y plus x so ito ay cancel cancel so therefore what is the final answer the final answer is 2 over y okay so proceed tayo sa last example kasi maikli lang naman talaga tong video na to about complex fraction so tinuro ko lang yung way din ganyan lang din Okay, so number 4, so I have 16, so ang, LC, ang mga denominator dito, suwat lang natin. So ang mga denominator is x and x squared. So denominator, ang mga denominator is x and x squared, so parehas. So obvious, ano yung LCD? Ang LCD natin, so obviously po ay x squared. Okay, then next is imumultiply natin yung numerator sa so denominator by x squared. Okay, so that is equivalent sa x squared multiplied by 16 minus 13 over x minus 5 over x squared all over x squared multiplied by 15 plus 8 over x plus 1 over x squared. Okay, so sa numerator muna tayo, i-multiply siya diyan, i-multiply doon, then i-multiply diyan. Okay, so that is equivalent sa x squared times 16 is 16 x squared. x squared times 13 over x, cancel yung x sa ilalim. So that is minus 13 x x squared times 5 over x squared, cancel yung x squared mismo. So, that is minus 5. Then, all over. So, punta tayo sa denominator. That is x squared, multiply dyan. Multiply sa dun. Then, multiply dyan. Okay, so that is 15 times x squared is 15 x squared. x squared times 8 over x, cancel isang x. So, that is only plus 8 x. So, tandaan na, huwag kalimutan yung mga, din, yung mga sign din, yung plus minus din. Next is x squared times 1 over x squared is plus 1. Okay, so ngayon, mag trial and error tayo sa pagfactoring ng 16x squared minus 13x minus 5. Okay, so trial tayo dyan ng mga possible factor. Okay, so yung dulo is 5. So obviously, that is negative 5, tapos plus 1. Tama? Dito, plus 5, negative 1. So para sa dalawang muna. Ngayon, pagdating sa 16, so may dalawang factor sa 16, no? That is, ang goal mo kasi dapat negative 13 yung gitna. So sa 16, pwedeng 8 times 2, pwedeng 16 times, hmm, tawag dito, 16 times mismong 1. Tama? Another pang pwede sa 16. 4 times 4. Tama no? Pwede din sa 4 times 4. So, check natin. Ano mga values na possible? While hinahanap ko yung uh, notes ko about dyan para mas mabilis na rin. Okay, so habang nag-iisip sa sir or hinahanap ko lang, wait lang. Ah, okay. So, May error ulit si sir sa given. Ngayon ko lang napansin. So, check ko lang ha. Ang given is 6 minus 13 over x minus 5 over x squared. Okay, so dito buburahin natin itong 1 na part. Sorry ha, then burahin natin dito yung 1 na part. So, meaning ito ay wala. So, 6 lang talaga siya. So, ito ay 6. Kaya hindi ma-factor eh. Inisip ko kasi yung factor niya. So, ayan, ngayon, pagdating dyan sa 6, possible na, pwede na yan. So, pwede yan sa 2 times 3. Nama? So, for example, 2 to, tapos 3. Okay, so, check natin yung outer sa inner. So, negative 5 times 3, negative 15. 
2 times 1 is positive 2. Ulitin ko lang ha. Yung product nito is negative 15. Yung product nito is positive 2. Ang sum nila is negative 13. So, nakuha ko. Ama, ganun kasi mang hula eh. Okay, so... Ako, kunyari, pinagbaliktad ni sir. Kunyari, ang ginawa ni sir, ganito. Ang ginawa ni sir, 3, negative 5, tapos 2, positive 1. Kunyari, ang ganyan, hindi mo nakuha, nakuha agad. Ang product ng outer is 3. Ang product ng inner is negative 10. Ama, negative 10 plus 3 is negative 7. Okay, so X is doon. Kasi hindi ko na ko yung negative 13, kaya kinukuha ko yun. So, ang factor sa taas is... 2x ano yun? 2x minus 5 times 3 plus 1 so that's 3x plus 1 all over oh, sa 15 naman, factor tayo ulit sa 15 so sa 15 x squared plus 8x plus 1 kula tayo una syempre obviously 1 dulo Okay, ngayon sa 15. Ano yung possible sa 15? Sir, obvious po si 3 saka si 5. Kasi 3 plus 5 is 8. Tama, no? So, parang mangyari ito ay 3 plus 5. Kahit pagbalik na rin ko, tapos plus. Kasi ang product sa loob, ang product sa inner, 5. Ang product sa outer, 3. So, ang sum nila, 8. So, nakuha ko yung 8 sa gitna. So, therefore, ano factor sa ilalim? That is 3x plus 1. Tama, then 5x, 5x plus 1. Okay, so obviously, ito ay cancel, cancel. So therefore, ano simplify? That is 2x minus 5 over 5x plus 1. So therefore, ito yung kanyang sagot. Okay, so kung napansin nyo, uh, apat lang yung example na binigay ni sir. Kasi nga, masyado na itong madali itong complex fraction. Eh. So, alam mo na si addition, subtraction, adi alam mo na si multiplication, division. So, kahit hindi ko na gawin itong LCD, LCD ito, kaya mo yan eh. Okay? So, hoping na may natutunan ka. Adi, so, sorry kung tatlong video kasi kailangan ako tatlong video kasi pag fraction, fraction. So, ibig sabihin, lahat na pinag-usapan natin yun is fraction. So, the next na mga video natin is all about radicals. So, ganun ulit. Possible baka gawin kung tatlong videos or dalawang videos lang. Depende sa gusto ng gagawin ni sir. Tapos, after nun, equation na tayo. Okay? Then, sabi nga, by November, baka maglabas na rin ako ng trigo, isasabay ko na. So, hoping na nagets mo, mag-activity tayo next week, or, I guess, hindi mo na, depende sa mood ni sir. Okay? So, thank you, and that's all for today. Sana, na-enjoy mo rin yung video kahit pa paano.